So about a year ago, I was working on a project that involved some dancing characters all dancing around in separate scenes that I created in Cinema 4D. That video is playing right now. This is not a tutorial that shows you how to go about creating this video. So just a heads up straight away on that. Uh, this is actually about blending animations in Mixable. All of the animations I used in this video, I uh, downloaded from Mixable, all the motion capture data. I just created my own characters from them or just kind of mixed up the characters from Mixable just a bit. Um, and while I, while I was working on the project, I noticed that I was unable to take two animations and kind of put them into one scene. So you can see that the camera keeps cutting to different dances. And at the time I was just kind of so focused on getting the project finished that I didn't do a quick Google search and see if that was possible. So this tutorial is just showing you that it is possible and we're gonna see how we can go about taking two different animations from Mixamo bringing them into Cinema 4D and blending them into one. It's very easy to do. So let's get started in this. Here we go. So the animations I'm using for this, uh, I'm using this character. You can use any character you like. So go to characters and you can search for, I think he's called uh, Maynar or something like that. Um, and then the animations, I'm going to be using the... Moonwalk, which is this one here, and Thriller. So they'll go hand in hand. And just download both of those. And then once you have those downloaded, jump into Cinema 4D. Just go to File and Merge. And then you can click on the Moonwalk one first and click OK to that. Just click No to this. And now we have our Moonwalk. Okay, cool. So what we can do is click on the Mixamo hips here, uh, Mixamo, rig, Mixamo rig hips, and just go to animate, add motion clip. Just click OK there. And now if we hit Shift F3 in our keyboard, that'll bring up our timeline. And let's go to view and motion mode. Now you can see that there our motion clip is here. It's also up here, shown here. Okay, so now we can bring in our second animation. So I'm just going to, let's bring this down a bit, out of the way. Go to File and Merge. And let's bring in our Thriller. Click OK on that. And that should come in and say No to uh, Reassign Takes. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Click on this Mixamo Rig Hips. Go to Animate, Add Motion Clip, and click OK. That is added in here now. It's actually up here. So we can delete it from here. This is the motion clip. Delete it off this layer. And then we can drag it down so that it is on the same layer as our moonwalk. And now that should play directly after it. So let's see. We need to bring it slightly so it's overlapping. Oh, I think I have the wrong one in there. It must be this one. Yes, okay. So I had, I had the wrong one brought in. So I'll do that again. This is the one we're going to be bringing in. See, they both have the same name, so it's easy to get confused. Just drag that over, and that's going to be there. And then you can overlap it slightly so that you'll get that nice transition. So as you can see... It's not doing what we wanted to do. The moonwalk, it's it's ending in this position, and the thriller is actually over here. So what we need to do is, once you click on your motion clip here, you'll get an uh, an advanced tab that you'll be able to click on. Let's click on that, and now we're going to create a pivot. Now what we can do is move our pivot back to the end point of the moonwalk animation. Make sure that we click switch to the world coordinate system so we can move this pivot right back to where our moonwalk animation ends. And now if we watch that again, let's actually delete off this. We don't need that anymore. If we watch that now again, we're getting a nice smooth transition between those two animations. 
bit of a jump. So what we can do is actually just increase the overlap here. So we're getting a much smoother animation there, smoother transition. And that's it, guys. That's motion clips. Um, very handy for combining Mixamo animations inside of Cinema 4D. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.